Faites vos achats, transférez de l'argent et réglez vos factures en toute sécurité sans vous déplacer avec Orange Monnaie. Le gain de temps change avec Orange. La vie change avec Orange. It's another episode of the Miss B Show. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed us so far. The movie industry is taking a turn for the better. We hear about movies being produced. We see movie premieres being launched on social media and pictures as well. But the question remains, where do we find them? Our guest today, all the way from Lagos, is a special actor. He's very talented. We see him in a lot of comedies. We're going to check out as well a young talent in Cameroon. But first, Anu Goretti and Anuri take us through a full movie industry review. Take a look. The Cameroon film industry is improving. We have a series of problems. I have been an ardent supporter and stakeholder of the Cameroon film industry and over the years I have seen some major improvement in the quality of work, the quality of our images, you know, the quality of acting, so I am positive. Many people get into the industry and they treat it like it's some competition rather than some form of art. I encourage everyone to look out for us, don't count us out yet because we are ready in a couple of years to blow your mind. We have not acquired a certain, let me say, courage in telling stories which would challenge the mind out of the Cameroonian context. Now, I don't know if it is that we have nothing African Magic wants, or it is that our producers or filmmakers are not aware of that great platform. It's something that with just a little attention, we can solve because I've always known Cameroonians as very big brainers. The onus also falls on the filmmakers and producers to go out there and show, hey, look, African Magic, we have something unique to offer you. They are producers, but they are no marketers. To get up a distribution process, it, it requires a bit of money. And unfortunately, if you see the people who are making films, they are young people. Most of them just graduate from university and most, most of them just really passionate about it. The stakeholders are not yet very conscious of what movie is and what the industry can bring the country in terms of um, uh, how it can empower us economically, uh, politically, uh, socially. Uh, we are not yet very conscious of that. But most importantly, investors. There is money here. In Cameroon right now, there are filmmakers. There, there is no industry. Give us a year or two, and hopefully you'll be able to find our films in every store in New York, Maryland, Houston, London. I think in the next 18 months or two years, we are going to have a very, very, very powerful industry which can, you know, compete with anyone in the world. The future for the Cameroon industry is optimistic. I am very optimistic about it. It is, I, I, I will still use the word bright. The future for the Cameroon industry, film industry is bright. Keeping that in mind, there are a few game changers in the movie industry. Find out the producers, the directors, the actors, and the movies to watch out for. played for a woman was Mbole. I played the lead female character, Ango, Ango Lobe, whose ideally world is shattered when she begins to suspect if her husband is having an affair or not. She was in a relationship with a man she lived with for a couple of years and like some come will stay, he will never put a ring on it and she had to push him and make sure I try to do whatever theatric she was doing to make that happen. My character in Woman, I was uh, a young doctor uh, Ango Osban. J'ai été en deux petites phrases piégé par une femme, si on veut le dire comme ça. Working alongside Jory Shaw was really interesting because he's a francophone and so English was his second language. So it was really um, interesting to watch the dynamics in his head. C'était un gros challenge de jouer dans ce film complètement en anglais et j'ai apprécié parce que ça m'a permis de grandir aussi. It was interesting to see how humble he was and how 
uh, approachable and how much dedication he put into his work. It was just fantastic and such a joy to work with him. Je ne vais pas dire qu'ils m'ont simplifié le travail, mais bon, ça a été un plaisir. Et puis j'ai gardé pas mal de relations avec ces gens. Infidelity is a subject that has been tackled with so many times in films and will still be dealt with in films in the future. But I guess with a story like Infidelity, it is how it is told. Our director came with a wealth of experience, Florence, um, and we also had our DOP and we had, our tech, we had a technical director from set, on set who came in all the way from Canada to work with us. De notre côté, les francophones ont dit travailler avec eux, les anglophones. Et puis ils ont une façon de travailler. Mais moi, j'ai découvert une toute autre façon de travailler. Et moi, je, dis, je dirais plutôt que c'est des Camerounais à part entière parce qu'ils sont professionnels, ils savent ce qu'ils veulent, tout est programmé chez eux. Logistique, sometimes, was challenging, which is normally the case in a film. I'm not sure there's any films that run completely smoothly. But apart from that, we were able to climb some of our hurdles and we stayed within budget, which is most important. <laughs> we stayed within budget. So, yeah, so that added to, to me. I'm happy. I'm a happy woman. I can't wait to thrill you all with woman. Some of the films you should watch out from this year, those I'm really excited about. Um, Nightfall has been done. I'm thinking about uh, Ivan's um, smokescreen. Woman. Rose on the Grave. I know about Fake. And we're still anticipating the release, the general release of Nina's Diary. We should be watching out for these movies because they are, like Nina's Diary, going to carry us forward. If you enjoyed that bit, check us out on Facebook and share who you think should be part of the Game Changers at this point. We're going to go on a little break now, and when we come back, we'll discover a Cameroonian talent. She's been on the scenes, but I'm sure she has a lot more to say about herself than I can even tell you. And of course, we're going to meet our guest. He's all the way from Lagos, guys. Voulez-vous accéder encore plus facilement à la 3G Plus Orange Adoptez Orange Cliff, le pack digital tout inclus à seulement 24 900 francs. Bénéficiez d'un smartphone 3G Plus de 300 MHz d'Internet, 30 minutes d'appel et 30 SMS gratuits. Rendez-vous vite dans nos agences. Orange, leader en couverture et qualité réseau 3G Plus du Cameroun. Être connecté change avec Orange. La vie change avec Orange. We're back, guys. If you've just joined us, you've missed quite a bit. But at the end, we're going to have a social media link where you can follow up on everything so far. Our next talent, she is very, very unique in what she does. She's done commercials, she's done movies, and she's here to tell you more about herself. Have a look. like to do everything related to art like modeling dancing but yet not so much I was just going there like for just for fun but I got really like uh, a virus in me you know and that's why I decided to be an actress it's always very difficult you know it's a challenge for me that's for true because I'm a French speaking so if I have to, to read a script in French one time to memorize, I have to read two times or three times to be sure that I'm looking at the same direction as a screen screenplay. The role le plus percutant, assez challenging que j'ai fait, c'était sur le film Passion.com où je jouais le rôle d'une folle hystérique et amoureuse, prête à tout pour pour récupérer son homme, et ça m'a mis face à à beaucoup de, 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 de débats d'ailleurs et, et face à beaucoup de challenges. Il fallait que je joue la folle, c'était ma toute première fois. Et au final, j'ai beaucoup aimé parce que c'était une expérience vraiment, vraiment enrichissante. Or, tout simplement, j'ai tout simplement reçu un coup de fil du producteur qui m'a demandé si ça m'intéresserait de, de travailler avec lui. Je le connaissais déjà avant en tant que comédien d'abord et ensuite en tant que réalisateur. Mais on n'avait jamais eu l'occasion de travailler ensemble. Alors un beau soir, je reçois un coup de fil qui me demande alors Lucie, ça t'intéresserait de bosser avec moi Et comment Thierry Tamak, reconnaissant quand même que c'est quelqu'un qui avait fait un boom en tant que réalisateur, je me suis dit, ah tiens, ça, c'est la chance de ma vie. Pourquoi ne pas accepter Mais 
j'ai attendu de lire le scénario avant de donner ma décision. Euh, mon expérience avec Thomas Guidjol a été une expérience très, très enrichissante. C'était euh, pour moi le, une opportunité à, à saisir à tout prix. J'ai fait le casting et deux mois après, j'ai reçu un coup de fil qui me disait que j'avais été choisie pour le rôle de, de sa sœur dans le film « Fast Life ». Après le succès de, du crocodile de Bosanga, pour moi c'était très beau de, de participer à ce plateau-là qui était d'ailleurs très professionnel et j'ai vraiment beaucoup appris. Ma maison de prod, mes ambitions, euh, LMB Prod, c'est ma maison de production, forcément ça porte mes initiales, Lucie Memba Boss, qui s'est venu tout simplement au fil de, du temps. À force d'être comédienne, j'ai eu envie d'apprendre un peu plus, d'être... Euh, fait la mise en scène, la direction d'acteurs et forcément ça m'a poussé à produire et c'est comme ça que la maison LMB Prod est née et avec laquelle j'ai pu produire la série Paradis et le film Tanapi qui a reçu d'ailleurs le, le prix du meilleur film camerounais aux écrans noirs 2014 et euh, j'ai coproduit avec euh, Horizon Jeune, l'association Horizon Jeune et la Boya Film Academy avec qui j'ai travaillé sur tous ces projets produits par euh, LMB Prod. There's always lots of future projects locally and internationally and let's keep like this when they will be, I will be around to realize that I'll let you know this is the moment I've been waiting for since the beginning of this episode guys forgive me I have to tell you the story I went all the way to Lagos to interview my guest and I'm walking down the stairs just after my director told me that our guest is here our guest is here hurry up and I'm walking down, I tripped over something just next to the pool and I find myself being caught and wrapped up by some firm, sexy arms. <laughs> Lord. I think he spoke about five languages or something. At that point, I was not very conscious. So when I open my eyes, all I see is this light skin, cute, fine boy. And God, oh God, if I had to wake up to that dream, it wouldn't have been Alex Ikubo. Look the four of them were plus one we carry load. You know you know them. This class is Mr. White Dog. I don't know them. Fine boy is here. <laughs> Looking around frantically. Where is he? Thanks for coming on, fine boy. Thank you, thank you. You're very pretty, Pamela. I've said that so many times already. I I yeah, if I say it one more time, I'll probably be arrested. I'll probably get a restraining order. <laughs> You're so pretty. No, can I don't touch mind. you? You can say it all can over I, again. Can I? <laughs> you can say it so many times. Okay. Um, the method actor. Yes. That's how you describe yourself. What does method actor mean? Well, um, first of me calling myself the method actor is just me believing in myself. And you know, everybody that knows me knows that I'm very spiritual and very, very religious. The Bible says what you say comes to pass. The power of life and death lies in the tongue. So whatever you confess, so okay. be it. So I believe I'm a method actor. I speak that into my life. I want people to perceive me as one. A method actor is one who puts the character before himself, yeah. who is very deep into his craft, who is very involved in his characterization. And um, that's what I'm all about. Should I feel horrible that you did not describe yourself in the modeling aspect? Because in 2010, you were the first runner up for Mr. Nigeria, right? Yes. No, I mean, um, being a first runner up for, for Mr. Nigeria is and has always been a great platform. It launched my career, you know. I get asked a lot, you know, if I'm a model turned actor or I'm an actor turned model. I don't even know, you know. In 2004, I made my first appearance on TV in the movie Sinners in the House, which was directed by Lance Lotto Duwa and Maswam. And that was ever before I did any modeling. Do you still go for modeling jobs right now? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, I do, I do. Um, if I get a very good offer, I mean, once a model, always a model. When you say the right offer between 2010 and now, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure your requests have changed. What will you be asking for? You know, nothing out of the ordinary. Just, just a decent package, you know, a well-rounded, decent package with more structure, you know. Now you have to worry about... Was in right, pick no, up, I'm not that a I'm blank not, check. No, I'm, not that <laughs> I'm a sweetheart, Pam, when you get to I know me. I don't think so. You don't? I don't, because when I look at you, I cannot help but take Johnny off my face, you know. That's what I know you as now. Um, 
Are you that kind of person? No, I'm not. Sadly, I'm not. Johnny is a character. You know, Johnny is a character like any one of the characters I've played on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, Johnny was created by the wonderful, the beautiful, the talented Yemi Alade. And, you know, she called me to be a part of the project, which I thoroughly enjoy. So I don't risk seeing any Uches and Nenes running oh, around in the near future. Safe. I'm a one man, <laughs> one man. And who is she? <laughs> um, is that an indirect way of asking if I'm single? Uh, of course not. Nah. I need to know if I should send my applications forward. <laughs> Pam, don't worry. I'll <laughs> your application will be duly processed. <laughs> yes, I'm single. Yes, I'm single. And, you know, I'm taking my time, you know, to make sure that I get the right one. I've been burnt, you know, and I think we all have. So right now it's all about, I'm on work mode, you know. I'm trying to, you know, focus on my career, stay focused, stay true to the dream. And then every other thing, you know, but with this much success, you know, and with, I wouldn't say age because you're not old in that sense, but with all of that combined, especially within your culture, don't you have the pressures of getting married soon? Well, there are pressures, you know. My mom goes calls me, hey, so my son, uh -huh. who is that uh, beautiful girl? <laughs> I'm like, not today, mom, uh, not today. Not now. <laughs> you know, my pastor is always still talking to him, like, all right, so you know, you see, it, it will please me when young people settle down. Like, pastor, yes. There are a lot of mediocre things in this world and love shouldn't be a part of it. You know, you should be with the person you want to be with because you really, really, really want to want be with to that be person. That. I want to be on set filming in, 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 in Cameroon and I'm yeah. thinking about the one and I'm thinking about her and I just can't wait to get back home and hug her and tell her about my day and tell her everything that went down. I'm a helpless romantic. I'm a I'm a lover That's boy. Trust so me. Someone like who I imagined you to be. To e be honest. Exactly, exactly. You know. So who's um, Alex off the cameras? You seem to be spending a lot of time in front of the cameras. Off the camera, um, I'm filled with simple complexities and complex simplicities. I'm a pretty straightforward guy. What you see is what you get. You know. I put up a picture of me on Instagram days ago. Um, I was just riding bicycle down the park, and I wrote. I'm, I'm a simple guy, really. I just love the simple things. I live for the simple things of life, you know. Um, not to sound like I'm old or I'm a dinosaur if I've been around long enough, but, you know, I've been around long enough to know that life is short. One minute you're here, the next minute you're not. Mm -hmm. You know, life, you know, in the Igbos where I'm from would say, life turns like a turntable, you know, and then be kind to people you meet today. You'd never know. But we'd always expect, you know, fine boys, rich, rich fine boys who've got jobs in the media and in the spotlight to be devilicious and to be dramatic. And especially because, you know, you've got this modeling aspect of you as well. So I'm happy to know that you're, you're a simple guy. Do you know what I say to anyone? Not like I've been in a lot of relationships, but yeah. you know what I say? The first thing I say to anybody I'm about to date, I say to her, I say, I'm different. That whole stereotypical idea of of a man doesn't work with me. I'm different. I'm really just simple, and I live for the simple things of life. You know, I just want to be happy. That's all. That's all I want to be in life: happy all the time. When you were younger, did you see yourself here? How did you grow to being this person? Your background? I I, I didn't, to be honest with you. I never thought I'd, I'd, I'd be where I am. You know, I mean, I always watch TV, and I'm like, oh, I, you know, I like the idea of being an actor, but I never really conceived and processed it, you know. Mm -hmm. I studied law, I have a diploma in mass communications, I went on with my life, you know, just being a regular law student, you know, just, you know, going about his business. And then somehow along the line, you know what they say, when destiny comes calling, you know. And it's just humbling, you know, from between you and I and heaven, how far I've come in such a short time. It can only be God, you know. And I feel like I don't, I don't, deserve half the acceptance and the credit that I get but you know I am actually a hard worker but you know it's not my hard work a lot of people are working harder than I am if if hard work is an inevitable result of yeah. success then the average African woman mm -hmm. would be well off you're right you know what I mean so I think I'm just blessed have you ever thought of a giving back project kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. I, um, I started a campaign early 
this year where, you know, I'd go around to schools and talk to young people and try to encourage them. Because I realized one thing, Pam, it's in the mindset. Yeah. The average African is negative by default. No, you're very right. We just feel like, oh, go for this contest. No, they know they're winners. Go for this contest. No, I'm yeah. not, I'm not yeah. Nigerian. No, I'm not Igbo. No, exactly. I'm not Hausa. No, I'm not, no, this. The average African has it can do beat down, water down um, spirit and mentality, yeah. you know. And if you can revive that, if you can speak, if you can touch the mind of a person, you can touch his destiny, you can touch his future. And I, I try to always a bit too much. We, do, we do, we do, we do. How do you keep fit and stay healthy? I wish I can say I work hard, but sadly I don't. What's this as a result? Trust me, darling. I, I I don't know. I think I have this partnership with Heaven's Gym. I just I don't know how I do it, but I just look good. I just look fit, you know. I, I'm, not, I'm not a look. I think the better way to put it is I'm not a gym rat. Okay. When I travel and I'm in hotels, I go, okay, there's a gym downstairs. Let's go, you know, push a few bars, jog around a bit. But I'm not a wake up in the. I don't have a strict regimen, you yeah. know. And you know, like I'd always say, what floats my boat might sink yours. So do when what. It comes to as well. Yeah, I, well, I, I, yes, with food, I'm always very careful. I watch what I eat. And that is a huge part of, you know, looking mm -hmm. good and staying fit. I watch what I eat. I don't eat late at night. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I always try to um, not count my carbs, but monitor my carbs. Can I ask you a strange question? With not so strange. Yes, Pam, I would marry you in a habit. <laughs> I would marry you. No, no, no. Oshie, I'm sorry. It's not me. No, no, no. Yes. But um, you've got really good skin here, if you allow me to touch. Yes. Do you moisturize? Do you go through the spas and treatments and all of that? I have never, ever had a spa treatment in my life. I don't think I... No, I haven't. So no. this is just... I'm, I'm just a wake-up-and-go kind of person. You know, I, I'm just get up, you know, rub my hair cream, take the, what's left of it, put on my hands, and just go. Comedy, AY Crepes. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're sometimes smart, but sometimes not so smart. Yes. How do you deal with that different personality sometimes? It's the character, it's the character. It, it's the char I play the character JJ on yeah. AY Crepe, and um, it's just a blessing to be a part of such an enormous project. I mean, AY is a huge, huge, huge success story and a movement to identify with in the industry. And getting that call to be a part of that project was just humbling. And, and, and I mean, I'm there with talents like Oshpebe, Casey, uh, Mimi. So it's just... It's a team of amazing It's a team of amazing... Like it's a family, you know. We get around, we're camped, we film, and, and you know, we um, stay together for the length of the production. Fun times now. Yeah. Where do I catch you Friday nights? Friday nights, um, a lot of people would think I'm a turn up guy, but I like to party, you know, but I'm, I'm not a I yay a club. Boy, no, like, I'm sadly, I'm not. I'm Friday more, no, I'm more of Friday night. I'm more of a stay at home, watch a movie, have interesting, have, I love food, you know, oh, have, boring. I know, I, trust me, I will show you things in the house you haven't seen before. Can you cook? Not to save my life, I can't. So the things you want to show me, what's a day? <laughs> <laughs> Watch a movie on box office. But you know, I'm, I'm a pretty fun guy, and I'm very interested, and I'm very jovial and playful. So, so yeah, yeah. When I'm not working, yeah. I like the simple things. Um, my birthday was days ago. Shay, and I April. didn't get an invite. Exactly, April 10th, and I celebrated in London, and oh. I jumped out the sky. I went skydiving. And I was like, oh my goodness, why did you? Yes, why did you? I'm like, yes, yeah, my birthday. Check this. I went there, it's an academy, you know, the Swindon Academy for, for of Swindon Flight Academy. And there were all white people, you know. And then one came and said, why are you doing this? Because I was like the only <laughs> black person there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh, because it's my birthday. And you know, I got strapped and jumped in the plane, 10,000 feet above the, the ground, and I jumped out. And it was amazing. It was, it was, pam. It's next to nothing. Are you a music person? Oh, I love music. What do you listen to? My playlist is a cocktail of everything. So I'll just check with the borders next door. What do you know about Cameroonian music? Sadly, nothing. Right. Sadly, nothing. But hey, I've yeah. made a new Cameroon friend now. So it is your responsibility to introduce me to Cameroon food, Cameroon music. Okay, so 
so I'll be sure to. And Cameroon movies, I'd love. To, I hear there is immense talent in Cameroon. I'd love to. Yes, I'm thinking about it, I'd love to be a part of you know a production in Cameroon. Yes, you, I'd, you, I'd you're love not to. Demanding too much, are you? No. Guys, I'll hook you up with Alex. Yes. He's good and he's simple. Yes, really, guys, I'd, I'd love to be a part of a production in Cameroon. So we're looking. Contact my agent, Miss P. I don't charge too much. <laughs> <laughs> So it was lovely having you with us. We have an after party planned for, you know, the birthday was just a few days ago. No skydiving for me. Alex will share with us his social media links. Follow him. He's really interesting. And you're going to see some abs online. Oh. My real social media handles are for Facebook and Twitter. And Instagram is Alex Ekubo. That's Alex with a double X. That's A-L-E-X-X. -X. E K U B O. Thank you very much for coming. It was really pleasant meeting you. I expected a diva, but I got a buddy. <laughs> yes, you got a new friend, darling. I hope you're gonna speak French when you come to Cameroon. Yes, I will, if you teach me. Uh, private lessons, I cost a bit on the high side. I can pay in <laughs> cash or kind, or kind, or uh, kind, uh, cash. K I N, okay. D. Trois points de suspension. <laughs> okay, trois points de suspension. Hair in your face. I'm still here and I wish that interview wasn't over, guys. But hey, like he said, I'm his agent. So if you need him, just call me. <laughs> Check us out on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Miss P Show. And on Twitter, follow us at The Miss P Show. It's another episode. It's another end. It's a new start next time. Goodbye. Pour ceux qui veulent tout savoir sur le monde encore plus vite, pour ceux qui veulent tout partager encore plus vite, pour ceux qui veulent vivre leur passion partout où ils sont. Pour ceux qui veulent accéder à leur business partout et à tout moment. Chez Orange, nous savons que vous aimez toujours aller plus vite. C'est pourquoi nous vous proposons des offres 3G+, adaptées à chacune de vos envies. Surfez change avec Orange. La vie change avec Orange.